all right you might be a tiny bit familiar with the interface but you are still like i don't really know what i'm doing what is this software about absolutely do not worry about this the entire power of the software which i would like to show you is by combining several slides to make a continuous continuous video continuous animation something that really flows one after another and this is why adding slides is so helpful if for example slides become too big for you here you can simply resize this box by making it a tiny bit smaller i usually work at very small slides because i like to have my editing area as big as possible also i tend to add items beyond the slide area if i want to select them and put them into the screen this will be in the next lecture but here i would still like to show you how to add slides to your presentation you can add and remove slides very intuitively as i shown you in the in the interface lecture and in the previous one you can right click and select new slide this is how new slides are added and if you plan to do very similar slides which will be beautiful like this one i can click on it here press ctrl or command c and just ctrl or command v v v v v v v this will simply paste the new slide the same way you can click on one slide you can press shift you can press on several of them and you just hit delete to remove them because sometimes you do changes and you remove slides as i said previously you can take slides and you can change their position you can move them between sections and you can really freely edit this when you are doing something in powerpoint so for this lecture i would like you to add three slides to reposition slides and then to, to delete two of those slides because i would like you to get very fluent and very familiar with editing the amount of slides and getting really confident with editing and changing your presentation on the fly well i'm telling presentation but it isn't mandatory always a presentation sometimes it will be towards a video or another explanation but the general rule of thumb is we are creating a presentation some people also say that you are creating a powerpoint which is the equivalent of a presentation but i do not like to call a, a presentation a powerpoint but it, it seems that like in the United States and in, in most parts of the world, a PowerPoint is equivalent to a presentation or a presentation file. For me personally, but I do not advocate this, for me personally, PowerPoint is the software and presentation is the end result which you are doing. But if you would like to say so, you can also say that you are making a PowerPoint. So do not get confused if you hear this on the web. Uh, you might run across this, but that's kind of off topic. Right now, as I said, try to add and edit the number of slides.